Okay, she wants to actually skip school. The room has gotten incredibly cold. The presence can be felt nearby. She just saw the ghost of Jean Claude. Okay, so let's see. Let's jump over to Cheryl because she saw the ghost now. So now we can actually banish the thing. Now that we've been searching the whole house for it. So where is the ghost, Cheryl? I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Um, banish. Hey, stop it. Had photo taken? A ghost is going to take her photo. How can a ghost have a cell phone to take a photo? It's dead. Okay, this is awkward. And it's wearing like a, a French. I don't want to sound like, uh, mean. I don't know what you thought. It's not really mean. Like, I see a lot of French people wear that hat. This hat. Why does it float and then walk? I don't get it anymore. Okay, well, Derek is looking through the telescope. Right there. Telescope. How do you see his own son through the telescope when his son is here? Makes no sense. No sense. Okay, so you need to go downstairs and eat your juicy carbonara like I told you 50,000 times. And, yeah. And your sister is using the bathroom. And your sister is done using the bathroom. She's going to clean up all the dirty dishes. And wh what are you doing? Alright, so she's eating the bathroom. She needs to eat some dinner. Breakfast. Breakfast. Alright. And, Faith is sleeping. And she's pinky. Okay, so let's get Casey to... Oh, the bus is here. Never mind. And spooky prop. Deliver five spirits to a theater. Sure. Yeah. Um. Uh, what time does your car come? Eight. Oh, you're not the worst guy. Oh, okay. Um. I never really believed in ghosts, but I sure do now. Thanks again for your help. Okay, so Cheryl needs. <clears throat> to come home and make some breakfast. And let's have her make some pancakes. And meet new friends. And Casey needs to meet new friends, but she's still eating. Hurry up, finish your breakfast. And Courtney needs to meet new friends. And Charlotte needs to meet new friends. So the only one we're waiting on is Casey. Christy's up there in her bed. Okay, so she's done now. Go to school. Get up out of your chair. Alright. And I'm gonna actually go out to the garage for a second. Oh, there's a there is a sale going on at the supermarket. And I'm gonna have Cheryl make this car her preferred car and then make him prefer that car because they're all using that car so the Ford Focus 2012 is not being used. And who doesn't want a Ford Focus? My dad always told me Ford was me was for found on road dead to get an F-O-R-D. Okay, so she is making pancakes. Right? I'm pretty sure I put pancakes. So I'm starting to second guess myself. Okay, so we need Fortune to come talk to Faith. Oh, uh, be friendly. And that's Groom. And Nuzzle. And Smith. And socialize. Socialize, nuzzle. Okay. Then, okay. all right. Come on now. Okay, let's get them to actually play chase. Oh, look, Fortune Stinky too. They can be stinky together. Who's that person? I don't even know who that person is. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, he dislikes Casey. That's his own daughter, and he dislikes her. Awkward. Alright, Cheryl is just, you know... What the heck? She, like, flipped it way over here and then caught it with a spatula. See? Okay, she's doing too much fancy stuff for me. And when Cheryl is done cooking, let's have her put Christy back in her crib and her swing. No, let's have her go hold Christy. Hold. But I'm, I swear to God that swing is like <coughs> heaven if you like a lot of things. No, thank you. They get these stupid opportunities all the time. Oh, okay. K K K K Where is your logic skill? Ooh, so you'll be at level six, which means that you'll be in the level that you're supposed to be at. Good. And Chrissy is actually mad because she needs to be so shy. So, what the heck? Stop eating life. Oh, she's eating life fruit pancakes. And life fruit gives you one day more on your health, I'm pretty sure. So she may be one day younger now. Okay. So I put away the pancakes. And I think we're going to have to call a maid for this house. Even though there's no laundry. Which means no more laundry now. Sorry, folks. No more laundry gnomes for us. Oh, look, we can buy something. And let's have him be a legendary host, because he's got a lot of parties he's going to be throwing here pretty soon. And Derek has now reached level 6. And we can buy him something, but all he can have is change of taste, and we don't want that. 7,000. She can be a discount diner, so she can get meals out on the town for cheap. We don't want that. And you don't have enough. And, ooh, Faith has almost got enough for a lifetime happiness reward. And so does Fortune. So we really need to get these guys going. Alright, well, first we gotta go for it. And let's see, Cheryl has Chrissy now. Let's get her to give Chrissy a bottle, snuggle her, play with her. Snuggle again. And then, let's get her to just change her diaper just for the fun of it, I guess. And then, let's put her in her swing, and then we'll turn on the swing so it actually, like, just goes, I guess. Why are you spying on the ball? And if you're wondering what this is, it's a nectar-making machine. It's from World Adventures, if you don't, didn't know. That's how we made our, our fuzzy nectar. And, yeah, you're pretty boring there, little man. Oh, let's choose Casey to talk to Fred. And Fortune, oh, they're both peeing. Look at that. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. All right. So, so Cheryl is taking care of Chrissy, which if you can't see how it's spelled, C-R-I-S-T-Y, I want to be a little bit different. And there's a picture of her right there. Oh, how cute. And actually, Cheryl has gotten um, martial arts skills. She is at level 2. Almost 3, pretty much. But, yeah, she's at level 3 almost, so... We might have her do that after putting Pussy in the swing and turning it on. But we have to wait for her to finish snuggling her and then changing her diaper. And mm, sure, go to work for this. It'll be good for you. And no, your your grades are good. Um, still looking through this telescope. And the kids are actually still at school. Just now got out. So let's have them all do their homework. 
Homework. Oh, she's going to work, so we'll see how she she is after work. She may be hungry, so I don't want to choose something and then her not be able to do it. And all right, so Chris, Chris is in the swing now. Now we just gotta turn it on to slow, and then recycle this, and she can read the new the new newspaper. Um. What the heck? It's like they're in a war or something. Kind of crazy. And, uh, yeah, then she needs to clean up the house. Because there is a ton to be done. Hey, that rhymes. Um, then I said I was, oh, I was going to have her do martial arts. Alright. So then let's have her back. And when Dre, oh, jeez. She is just a, not a happy baby. Okay, your father's coming. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Let's turn it off. And hold Chrissy. What's that? Mm -hmm. She needs a diaper change. She's not a happy baby in the swing today. Okay, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Calm down. Whoop. And the sheathing thrown out. Okay, it's like the same things every single day. Turn off this music. Poor Chrissy. Poor baby. Alright, change your dirty diaper. Troy brings home the Pleasant View home child. Was it Pleasant View a town in Sims 2? Good question. If anyone knows the answer, please write it in the comments below. Um. Yeah, so now you can put Chrissy back in her swing. And her hot spot is grind to leg away. Okay, when Dre is done with his homework, he needs to eat some light fruit pancakes. And Casey too can eat some light fruit pancakes. And Charlotte needs to have fun. So let's get her to come home and play computer games, I guess. And Derek is putting Christy back in his swing, and she's not happy, so she needs to get Nancy turned on. And let's see, let's have him use the bathroom, and then eat some good carbonara. And the mom has everything else in the control, I think. Oh, but she didn't clean up the bowl, so she's kind of nasty. Okay. So Dre is on his way home, and he needs to have fun, which is like nothing in this house for fun. No offense to say like 6980, which I remembered their numbers now, but there's like nothing in the house for fun, so I need as in the next system. Um, what shall I give him to do for fun? Maybe we can have him go, him go out. Captain Sun. Let's see, who's around? This is the O'Leary household. Uh, the Millman household. Uh, let's have him visit the park. Good place for him to Take a break. Okay, and where's Casey? Alright, Casey is getting some pancakes. Pancakes it is. And Cheryl has to go to work again. And she is off to deal with the angry ghost. What's that? Oh, he's eating. After he eats, he can go back to searching the galaxy. Searching for rocks evil doing. And, uh, hmm, I really need to, like, add, like, a TV or something. Let's see. Is there any room for a TV? I don't think there is. Maybe in the room. Alright, let's see. 
go into buy mode to have like seven thousand dollars and let's get something for fun because they don't have like anything and the living room section has my CD which ooh, excuse me let's get them not a really CD because then it's not any fun uh, Let's put the TV here. Actually, let's move it down one. Alright, right there. Put the dresser like that. That. Yeah. Should have switched them. I think it'd be better. Move the TV here. Actually, let's put the TV out here. Wow, I just keep changing my mind. Alright, put the TV there. Let's put a couch out in the hallway. And we want a nice couch. No back couch, it's not big enough. Not this couch. And we're gonna move it forward. And yeah, so they'll have the couch. And we can give them a nice video game system. Which one should we give them? This one? Sure. Alright, so Instead of him going out to the park, he can come watch some TV, and she can watch some TV, and girl, she can watch some TV, instead of playing the game. And when Courtney gets home, she needs to eat some dinner, which she can eat some light fruit pancakes, and then she can watch some TV also. Which I don't think there's enough chairs for everybody, but that's okay. And... Alright. We're off with Cheryl now. And she's probably going to take her Toyota this time, which will be exciting to see. What are you doing? Stop doing that. Stop digging holes. I'm not supposed to do that. Alright, let's see. Where's the car? Where's the car? Ooh, look! So we're off in our, our Ford Focus now. Dang, I feel like I'm flying! Don't crash. I just, I love how Sims can drive through other Sims. Cars. Or people, you know. And nobody gets hurt. That never happens. Alright, so we need to banish, banish, it says go, 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 do whatever it takes to get rid of them, I cannot handle them. And so there's three of them, we've got two clips, where's the third one, oh, here's the third one. So let's see, who are these ghosts? This one here is Wuhawa Chong, and she just got my of seeing her. This one is Julian Forner, Forn Fournier, which she got a memory for seeing him. And this one over here is, who are you? Guan Ying Sumping. I would never name my son that, but okay. So she got a memory for seeing her. And I love how the dog is thinking about a sunny day while I'm trying to banish ghosts. Why is she not gone, Cheryl? You're not doing your job here. You think. And, yeah. You're not cleaning dishes, no. And it looks like everyone's getting into a really good mood. Really good mood. Except for Dre, because he's really tired. Okay, come on, Cheryl. Get your work done. It's taking forever. You better get this one. What the heck is wrong with you? Why are you not banishing them? And she actually needs to get five spirits. And she only has zero. 
great. You're not slapping her, weirdy. Okay, come on, Cheryl. You're taking forever here. People don't want to watch you just stand around. Alright, well, that's at least one down. Was this lady a vampire because she's sparking? I think she was a vampire. How can you be hungry? You're a goat. Next. Hopefully this time she gets her. And, yep, we got her. And now down to the last one, which is this caveman, dress-looking man. And uh, I think the dog just peed on the floor. And he is gone. Okay, so now we are off to deal with an angry ghost invasion. But first I'm going to jump over to the kids because they are really tired and want to go to sleep. So, let's have Dre go to sleep. Okay. Casey needs to go to sleep. Courtney needs to go to sleep. And Charlotte needs to go to sleep. And Derek needs to go to sleep. But Christy's just chillaxing down here. Actually, let's have him put Christy in her bed and then go to sleep. Because I don't want to leave the babies up when my boots turn up. Alright, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Sleep. And we're jumping over to Cheryl again. And let's see. Evict two angry ghosts now. So we are off to the next house, and it says, so many ghosts, I wonder where they came from anyway, thanks so much for your help, and we are off now. And, whose house will it be? I already hear the music. The piece is on the side of the road. Who are you? Okay, so there is Waki Dome that needs to be vanished. And. Oh, here's the other one. What's his name? Wafa Katan. And she needs to banish them. It says, I've already tried to maintain a healthy relationship with ghosts. Why are they haunting me? And she gets a memory for seeing Wafa Katan. And she gets one for seeing Pop Kidong. But this is where I'm going to leave you guys for today. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on my channel. And don't forget to check out the um, video of the unboxing of my illuminated mouse that I uploaded earlier on today. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.